Hello everyone, so it's Duck2, and welcome to another Fabric install tutorial. So, uh, this one's going to be surrounding the 117 snapshots, specifically the 20W45A, and uh, just a note, pretty much any time you install Fabric, whether it's on snapshots or releases, it will be pretty much the same, no matter what, hasn't changed since I think 114.3 1 or so, probably, so there hasn't been too much difference. Um, but obviously each one I've done is either just to sort of show it's the same, or that obviously I've got certain changes I've done with audio over time, so, yeah. But, uh, for those in that obviously new to this sort of thing, and are interested in trying it out, definitely, um, follow along, of course. So, yeah, pretty much what you want to do is go to fabric.mc sorry, fabricmc.net slash use, and from there, of course, if I just pull this straight down, come on, yeah, come on, there we go. So you want the installer jar here, and we'll just take this, and we'll go to over here, like so, and then we'll go to downloads. Now, we'll double click this jar file, and from there, we'll just wait it to have its window appear, and then here we go. From here, you can see obviously the Minecraft version, you can see the install location, and you can see the loader version. Now, obviously, since we're wanting 117 snapshots, we're going to want to select Snow Show Snapshots. Don't know how I messed that up. Um, and obviously, you can see a bunch of different other ones, a few pre releases, release candidates, prior snapshots, and so on, as far back as um, 114 ones. There's a few combat ones as well, but there isn't many mods for those. Anyways, we're obviously wanting to focus on 20W45A for this one. And any loader version will be fine. Obviously going with the latest is probably the best. But if you were using this for any other version, like 114, 115, and so on, the latest will still work on those. It's not like Forge where you have to obviously have a specific one from that um, sort of period of time. So now that that's done, we don't really need the installer anymore. We can delete that. But uh, we want to go to, obviously, our dot .minecraft location. So we'll just take this, just paste it here. So what we want is, I'm just going to change this for the sake of it. But uh, yeah, so what you want, oops, just got to stretch this thing up, is you want to have it as here. So if you can type that into, say, the, um, at least for Windows for the sake of, this video, um, is obviously put that in your sort of Windows Explorer, File Explorer sort of bar, and you'll be fine. But if you want to do things a bit differently, or make it more accessible for all sort of approach, uh, across all OS, it's pretty much easy just to go to an existing one that already has recipe pack, uh, sorry, resource packs. So go to the resource packs menu and you'll be fine there, and I'll demonstrate that by probably just installing my Multium C1. I'll just go to that one and demonstrate, because this one already works. Um, obviously it's best to do it with an unmodified version of the game, that way you can easily just access the resource packs menu instead of just going, why is it not working, why can't I reach it after having set up stuff, so yeah, I'm going to close that, I'm going to actually relaunch, because I don't actually have it where it's got the uh, new profile considered for it, so I'll just show that as well. And it should pop up. Come on, any moment now. There we go. So now we got 20W45A here. And if it doesn't actually appear automatically, just look for it. Yes, thank you. Master volume off. Thank you. Let's push that back down. So if you don't have this automatically appearing, you can simply just go to installations, add a new one, simply search for it, and it'll be something like this where it says re release or something else. Um, okay, it says really even for that snapshot, so that's fine. So fabric loader, such and such loader build, and the version of Minecraft that you're using it for. So this will be obviously this one, and then you just go create and name it whatever you want. Since we already got it, we don't need to count that. So I could technically just hit play from here, and we'll be fine. Now to put mods in, of course, which I'm going to show next, is you want to go to the resource packs folder here, or menu here, and go open pack folder, and there you go, you can see that 
Boop, let's go boop. Okay, it's gonna get stuck. So obviously we're in here, we go to dot Minecraft out from that, go into mods, and then you can see that I've got a mod in here anyways. So yeah, so that's pretty much what you do, is the equivalent of that, but obviously, since this is the vanilla launcher one, it would be the equivalent of where that path is. So it would be, say if it's C drive for example, it would be C drive, app data, roaming, such and such, such and such, dot Minecraft, and then you're good. But obviously that's for Windows, but if it's for others, I don't need the equivalent of Mac or Linux, so I can't cover those, but I'd say if you just want a general one, you don't want to just put something in a address bar sort of thing, go the uh, resource packs sort of route and then you'll be fine to just go here it opens up the window you go out to dot minecraft into mods put your mods in and you're good to go so yeah um i think that's doing all right i think i don't think that's failed or anything should still be fine don't know what's going on though Ugh. i have no idea what is going on okay I guess this is downloading, yeah, okay, so it needs to download the actual snapshots as well as just the fabric loader version, which is fine. Um, if you actually have already downloaded the snapshot, it will probably skip this part, but since I haven't downloaded the snapshot, it's going to do that as well as the fabric loader stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, wait for this in the meantime. Let's shift this over as well, which is a bit off camera, a uh, bit off screen, like my monitor. So I'll just, uh, actually it shouldn't take too long from now actually, so just let this go. And any moment now we should be good with it loading what it needs to. So what are you up to at this stage? Not too far off, I think. Should be fine enough by now. I don't know if that's going to track it still normally. We'll just wait for it, the instance completes then. We'll just close this multi-MC one. We don't technically need that, and of course it's going to do a resource pack apply part, which we don't need. <laughs> it just slows things down a bit too far. Um, I'm just going to mute all this, even though they already are. Just in case. Uh, I'll do the GUI scale and everything else, I guess. Mute off. But yeah, so we'll let this thing load. And then eventually we'll have it where it'll get obviously to the title screen, we can check our mods and so on. Now, yep, so that's already off because that's just the way that one works. Cool. And we've got the following included there. Now, I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to have to generate a new world just to test what happens. And we'll see. Now, I don't have many mods installed here. I've got a bundle specific one that changes a few things, and then a tree chopping one, so we'll test those and uh, see what happens. And I don't think mod menu currently, as I'm making this video, has been made available for snapshots, so I've only just got Fabric API and a few other certain mods I can demonstrate with, for now at least. So yeah, just put on land, and we'll just get an axe, I think, and demonstrate there, as well as bundles what's going to happen there. So go to survival, Oop, come on, and it was a tree harvesting one, and we can see that we're felling trees now, so that mod's definitely worked. Um, and then I don't know about bundles at all, and if it was like a stack thing, uh, again I don't, Oop, okay so apparently we can just do that. I don't know the extent of that mod yet, so I'd have to experiment with it, but the tree felling one definitely works, so that's a good sign. Um, as well as I guess just checking data packs to see if those mods are listed as such. And the fabric's listed as it. Okay, so the others aren't listed as data packs. Uh, either way, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.